Let's go to the Word. Let's go right to the Word of God. Today's is from Proverbs, the fourth chapter, the 20 through the 23rd verse. Let's read it together. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of Amen. life. You know, life is hard sometimes, and we have to reflect. Where is that coming from? What, how do we find those pathways through, uh, through hard times? Our heart reflects our mind, our personality and our will, and our passions. To have an abundant life, you know, I talk about that all the time, you must place God's Word at the center of your heart. This book at the center of your heart, his words are alive and they bring health and they bring peace and they bring happiness and contentment. Store up God's word in your heart and in your soul today and he will guide you. He will guide you on the path that he has laid out for you. Terry, that's the key mm -hmm. to walking in, in a victorious Christian life is to have the word as the path illuminator. Absolutely. I am such an advocate of that. You know, we talk to our children about the fact that what you watch and what you listen to, that, in, that in penetrates your soul. It affects you. You can't, you have to guard what goes in your mind. And you really do. Well, it's, it's good that you brought up children because today's mm -hmm. program we have a very cool uh, announcement or presentation or a declaration or description right. of some curriculum of mm -hmm. for Vacation Bible School. Because, awesome. you know, kids, it's important that we plant the seed of God's Word mm -hmm. into their hearts and lives. And unfortunately, in our culture, in our society, that doesn't happen the way it should happen. Right. So we need to take them under our wing. And if you're a grandma or a grandfather or a mom or dad, please don't, please don't uh, forget that it's God's word that brings life Absolutely. and brings abundance. Mm -hmm. and that's what we have to give our children, the food of life from the word of God.